Sada will talk on the second enlightenment factor called Dhamma Vichaya Sambhojanga, which is usually translated as a investigation of Dhamma enlightenment factor. Dhamma Vichaya Sure Sagazuma Dhamma Vichaya Naku Pounsa Tare Pounsa Tavare Ajaga Dhamma Sura Yudama Nandamari Gupiovare Yudama Nandamari Ale The Power Guzi Lekanari Gusuvare ဝိကျရဆိုတာကတော့ခွဲခြင်းစိစစ်တိမြင်နာပါဘယ်ဒီပဲတော့ပညာရဲ့ပြည့်ရဲ့စကားတစ်ပါဘယ်တခုပေါ
It might be appropriate to first of all look at the word Dharma in this particular context. <clears throat> the commentaries um, explain that this word Dharma in this particular compound word means Sabhava. <clears throat> Subhava refers to uh, is again made up of sa and bhava <clears throat> sukha bhavo meaning uh, sukho bhavo sa bhavo sukho means specific or individual Bhavo means state. <coughs> state or that which is present. So the Bhavo can be understood to mean that which is present in each in each specific uh, thing. That state which is present, which is uh, present in each uh, specific thing. <coughs> now, as we saw, as we saw earlier, Dharma refers to mind and matter, and therefore we mean the. the true nature of what is that is inherent in each specific physical and mental phenomena. <coughs> Practically, this means that, for example, um, in regard to physical phenomena, we have the four great elements, the earth element, which has the individual or specific characteristic of hardness, <coughs> the uh, water element, which has the characteristic of fluidity, cohesion. And we have also the um, fire element, which has the specific characteristic of temperature, of hot and cold. Finally, there is the air element, which has a specific characteristic of tightness, tautness, tension, and its dynamic aspect of movement. <coughs> so you can see that each of these great elements have separate characteristics which are peculiar and inherent in each of in each of them. <coughs> With regard to mental phenomena, the mind or consciousness has the specific characteristic of knowing an object. Pasa or contact as a mental state, has the characteristic of impingement and so forth. 
So you see that even uh, in <clears throat> regard to the mental phenomena, each different sort of mental phenomena have their respective uh, qualities and specific characteristics. Povilo letui jau on pio ya ye, one by side viro, pao nai pao nai pei nai pei nai, shu ma lu, pao mu pei mu ko re, tao ti lu sha yui tua re tuo li, era, wa yo dai tao wa le kan nao ba, ma dai ma dai tao tao ti tao lu tao yui tuo li di ti ni. Dhamma Ujiya Khorave. Vayotaye Tabawalakhanagu Khwajan Sisibhita Thi Nira Vayotaye. Pira Takaraka Puraliri Bola Puraliri Saifato Puraliya Takhu Tiraliya Takhu Saravani. Adilu Yonena Kogwe Pya Pya Tiru Khwajan Mira Sisi Thi Nira. Era Dhamma Ujiya Vayotaye. Tu to po vira pita da da uriya bia nya mei lo yaudai kha jama pita ba da. To get down to even more practical examples, Sada would like to bring your attention to what you experience when you watch your rise and fall, the rising and falling movements of the abdomen. <clears throat> As you are mindful of each rising and falling movement, then you may perhaps come to know directly that the rising and falling processes consist of Sensations of tightness, tautness, tension, pressure, movement, displacement, and so forth. And these are none other than manifestations of the wind element. <clears throat> the tension and movement would therefore be included in the word Dharma, investigation of Dharma. And if you come to know directly, you experience and perceive directly these sensations of movement, tension, pressure, etc., then one can say that Dharma Vichaya is happening. There is Investigation of Dharma. Now the word investigation here perhaps needs some explanation. It is not an investigation that is done through the thinking process. Rather, it is a, it is a sort of a discerning insight that is able to distinguish the characteristics of the elements that we talked about early on, as well as the other aspects of Dharma in this context. <clears throat> um, at other times, when you're watching the rising and falling, it may become very clear to you in a very spontaneous way that there is in fact there are in fact two processes happening. There is the sensation of tension and movement on the one hand and the noting mind on the other. So again, <clears throat> uh, one can say that discernment of Dharma has occurred. <clears throat> investigative uh, discernment through insight of the Dharma 
has occurred. Um, <clears throat> this, however, is something which becomes very, very clear and apparent when the yogi attains the stage of insight into the rise and fall of phenomena. <coughs> if the Sada were to illustrate the point with uh, each element or each type of Dharma that is perceptible in the mind-body process, uh, it may take the <laughs> remaining uh, days of the retreat to be able to complete it. So this little example would, he thinks, would be quite sufficient for all of you to get the point. Now, Shuma Bamiyalu, the Bawala Kanari, who Trolli Pibis of the Divide and now Paima, now the Bawatam Yu, Tila Badi. Eddie the Bawatam Yu are people of Quebio or Nisa Lekana. All of you are in a sea, Duga Lekana, to the water into people, another Lekana one. You Lekana told me Tila Badi. အဲ့ဒီမမြဲရှင်းရဲ့သဘောပဲခေါ်တယ်လက္ခဏာသုံးမျိုးဟာအားလုံးသောယုတ္တိနာနီနဲ့ပတ်တဲ့တူညီတွ
Sakho Bhavo, the state of what is that is inherent in each thing, in each Dharma. <clears throat> Here, it is Samano Bhavo. Samano here means uh, common, which has the same, which is the same similarity, universal. Bhavo nature. So that which has the same nature, our common nature, in each and every dharma, each and every mental and physical phenomena, is also called sabhavo, is also called an inherent nature. But this refers to the common characteristics of impermanence, suffering, and non-self. Again, this will become clear, this perception of the characteristics will become clear when the vipassana insights are attained. Rāvūpādhanāyāna <coughs> ไอ้นิพพานกูธรรมขอเลยปวิจิณะสระเอ่อวิจยะสระก็ไม่ยังพูญญาเนี่ยติตั๋วละบ่ธรรมวิจยะไอ้ธรรมก็รอนิพพาน
you will not be wrong to admit that uh, this that there is no atta both in nibbana as well as in mental and physical phenomena. So perhaps you can say that nibbana shares a common characteristic with other uh, perceptible mental and physical phenomena. The only difference is that the anatta, the non-self characteristic of conditioned phenomena is based on the other two characteristics of impermanence and unsatisfactoriness. The anatta characteristic of Nibbana, on the other hand, is based on the other two characteristics of permanence and happiness or bliss. So when Vipassana insights arise or even when the noble path consciousness arises, we say that the bojanga, the enlightenment factor of discerning insight, investigative discerning insight into the Dharma is present. ကြံ့ကမြတ်မှာတော့အဲ့ဒီဓမ္မဝကြီးရဆံဘောဇင်ကိုလက္ခဏာရတ္တပိစုပထာနေနဲ့ဒီလိုပြထားပါတယ်
ဒီတော့အလင်းဟာခန်းနေမှာရှိနေတဲ့အရာတွေကိုပါရိပါရိပဲတို့ထင်ရှားစီတယ်လို့ထို့အတူပဲဥဒမနန်တမတွေကို
ปกตตะวะหุเลตะลามะหุเลบุลาสระยุมะตันเตยะฤสิษุเฟมุเรอะจ้องเนี่ยผิดตาละอะจ้องไม่ผิดตาละสระยุเฟมุเรมีเนี
ตัปปิญญาณีวิรโกณีอสิงห์สิงห์สิงห์เตตวาระเออออกฉีอติหาอะเตญาณีผิดปอจีอะจองเมสุดาผิดตะลุทุทุเวชีกันญาณีเรย
this refers, of course, to uh, going or approaching a person who is quite knowledgeable and learned and experienced in the in the Dharma. So that one can ask questions that are related to the Dharma. If one asks questions which are not related to the Dharma, which are circular in nature, then uh, there is no doubt at all that it will not conduce to the development of this enlightenment factor. <laughs> <coughs> There's no doubt that Americans uh, can very easily fulfill this first factor. <laughs> they are quite adept in asking questions that uh, can cause headaches. <laughs> <coughs> and that's good because it's a factor that will conduce to development of wisdom. ဆဗေနီဗာတွေရှုပ်ရှုပ်ထွေးတွေးမရှိရအောင်တက်တဲ့ချီတဲ့တွေလဲပဲရှိရင်လိတာကြီးညော်တွေတဲ့နေလို့
for the development of wisdom. Now, today I am going to India. Tomorrow, pretty bad, na sir. India, ni piya me, ni ao ni piya me. Tada ne piya, ni ni ya me. Buriya ne tomari, ni ni ya me. Tada da longe biro piya ma balu chi. Ah, say te ga kum yu biro bali, ni ao. Adwe jani da ni biro. Tada ma balu sulu chi ne ve. วันสนาบริกรรมจิตเดชวริยาตัวนี้เนี่ยพี่เราวริยากาลงแก่นี่เป็นลูกศิษย์เลยว่าสิ่งที่เปลี่ยนเรื่องตัวได้ไหมมัน
In fact, there are many things that the Sada would like to share with you from both the theoretical and practical point of view. Uh, with regards to this uh, balancing of the faculties. <clears throat> However, since time is very short, uh, he is unable to do it. Now, Saruta Jangara, Dubinya, Pogola, Pri, Wajanata, Pinya, Mere Poku, Shamame. The fourth factor is avoiding people without wisdom, avoiding fools. And the fifth is kind of related, or rather is the direct opposite of the fourth, which is association with the wise. ปัญญาชีเนี่ยด้วยกว่าปัญญาชีตันชิงกะโลกก็ซาอธิเวยะมาบ่ด้วยกว่าปัญญาเวยะมาบ่อเนซุงบะลอกชีอ่ะมะเ
And therefore, um, if a meditation, te- if one poses to be a meditation teacher without meeting this minimum qualification, it is quite certain that uh, it is quite likely that one's students will not be effectively or properly guided. And also, there will not be an occasion for the development of uh, the factor of enlightenment called um, this investigative insight into the nature of phenomena. ကံပြီးတာညာနဆရိယပစ္စဝက္ခဏတနှစ်နေသောညာဖြင့်လိလာရှိဘုဒ္ဓိတ္တတရားတွေပေါ့လေအဲ့ဒါရီရတော့ခ
wonders whether there are some yogis here who belong to the clan of the Venerable Sariputta. <laughs> Rather than putting all their efforts <clears throat> into the development of this non-intellectual and intuitive insight into the true nature of phenomena, they seem quite content uh, to be uh, to have a preference for second-hand knowledge of uh, thinking and uh, intellectualizing their experiences. <clears throat> uh, because of that, they are falling way back behind. It is hoped that such people will uh, regain their senses, so to speak, and uh, <clears throat> learn a lesson from from this. According to Sada's observations, it seems that uh, the women yogis here uh, are relatives of the Venerable Moggallana. The Venerable Moggallana is an ideal student. He just listens to what the Buddha says and he carries out orders without much ado. And this also is a lesson worth learning. However, there is a note of caution here. So I hope that the women yogis will not uh, misconstrue the statement to mean that their knowledge of wisdom is <laughs> inferior <laughs> to, the, to the relatives of the Venerable Sariputta. <laughs> Since uh, Sado is about to return to Burma, he is trying to make sure that he doesn't suffer another attack. <laughs> Well, so much for today.